Good evening everyone. Welcome to the Year 5 2021 Middle School Information Night. My name is Gavin Fraser and I'm one of the heads of the Middle School. Tonight you're going to be hearing from all of the Middle School principals as well as Miss Lydia Foskett, the Year 5 level leader. Without any further ado, I'd like to throw to Caroline Bamberg, the Middle School Principal. Good evening. My name is Caroline Bamberg and I'm the Middle School Principal at Hazel Glen College. This evening I'd like to speak to you about why middle school is a great place to be and introduce some, of, uh, some other important people who will help you thrive in the coming years. The first thing I'd like to acknowledge is just how much growth and change we will see from our students and children in the coming years. Our young people are about to embark in biological and emotional changes that will shape them as individuals and equip them with the tools for success as adults. This image is a perfect depiction of what happens in middle school as our kids will embark on immense change and development and with the support of friends, family and the school community, they will grow and flourish as learners and as people into their future. Now, it won't be as simple as that last slide suggests and it is our role to work with our families and young people to help navigate this time and ensure the journey is as positive as possible. One important focus in middle school is on social and emotional learning. We often speak about emotions during early adolescence as being like an iceberg. Students will feel emotions that are often strong and sometimes hard to control. However, what drives these emotions are often underlying ones hard to name and deal with. Our focus in middle school is to help students understand this range of emotions and how to manage and reconcile these emotions in a positive way. The other big focus in middle school is helping students develop their learner identity. We know in the coming years, literacy and numeracy will remain the building blocks of success, accompanied by rich and engaging learning experiences. We focus our curriculum on understanding our learners, celebrating their uniqueness and developing their learning skills such as communication, critical thinking, creativity, collaboration and problem solving. We want students to develop resilience, understanding learning is messy and it's okay to make mistakes. We want them to know we believe in them and know they can be successful and know that they're going to be growing into great people. Now, I'm going to introduce Kim Donnelly, Middle School Principal of Wellbeing Operations to build upon the ideas I just raised. Thank you, Carolyn. My name is Kim Donnelly and I'm the Assistant Principal for Operations in the Middle School. I'd like to provide you with an overview of what to expect as your child begins their journey in middle school. I'd like to start by saying that we're really excited about welcoming our new Year 5s to middle school. We have some great structures and supports in place to ensure that all students have a smooth and successful transition and are set up for the best possible start to their middle school journey. There's probably a lot of things going through the mind of Year 4 students and their parents at the moment. We know for many students, the move to middle school brings mixed feelings of excitement and nervousness. There are lots of questions from students and their parents. Entering middle school is an exciting step in your child's schooling. We know that parents have some concerns about this and I'd like to reassure you that the move from junior to middle school is well supported so that the change is not overwhelming. For example, students don't need to move from room to room for every subject. The majority of their classes are in their home group room and the teacher comes to them. They only move around to different areas to go to their specialist classes. Our teachers are very experienced in working with and supporting Year 5 students. We will show them how to use their lockers and read their timetables. We will show them where to go for specialist classes and what to take with them. Ongoing supports are put in place to make sure that your child's transition goes smoothly and that change is exciting, not scary. To say that your child's schooling this year has been interrupted is an understatement. We know that there will be gaps in learning and changes to social connections. So please be aware that we're planning for this and we're putting programs and processes in place to support students socially, emotionally and academically. First and foremost, we want all students to thrive. In order for students to be successful and thrive at this stage of their schooling, it's essential that we have the right preconditions for learning. This means that they feel connected socially and emotionally, that they feel safe in their learning environment and that they have a positive attitude to their learning. 
In middle school, we invest a lot of time into setting up these preconditions for all students. The core of this is setting up positive relationships and connections, positive connections with peers, and positive connections with teachers. For this to be possible, it's vital that there's a partnership between home and school. We need open communication. We encourage parents to keep in regular contact with teachers and other relevant staff members to ensure that we can provide the best possible learning environment for your child. As students enter this stage of schooling, the key to success is the connection that we can see here between the students, their carers and the school. Nobody knows your child better than you do, so the more that we can work together, the better we can support your child. We encourage parents to keep in contact with teachers and staff about changes and concerns at home so that we can work with you to provide the best possible learning environment for your child. As you are aware, Hazel Glen is a large college. We want to assure you that as your child continues into middle school, we do have a range of structures in place at various levels to ensure that every child is supported. We are fortunate enough to have a very well resourced wellbeing model in place. The first point of call is your child's home group teacher. They see the class every morning as well as teach them for one of their main subjects. Students can approach the home group teacher with any concerns they may have. They are also the first point of call for parent contact. From here we have a scaffolded support structure depending on the individual needs and situation. Miss Lydia Foskett is a year level leader for Year 5 who supports the needs of all Year 5 students. She will be speaking shortly to you as well. Next we have our Head of School for Year 5, Mr Gavin Fraser, who provides support for the Year Level Leader and oversees more serious or ongoing concerns. Overseeing this structure is myself as Assistant Principal of Operations. Working alongside us we have the College Wellbeing Team led by Mrs Nicole Stockwell. We also have Mr Ben Smith who is the Wellbeing Leader for Year 5 students. They oversee student wellbeing concerns and can provide advice and support around a range of wellbeing and mental health concerns. They can also work directly with students and families if that's required. So yes, we may be a large school, but we continue to provide strong supports at whatever level your child may need. They don't care to learn unless they learn that we care. This is a really important statement to consider as your child enters middle school. At this stage of learning, students really need to know that their teachers care about them. They may not show it all the time, but they do want to know. If we ask the students about the main things that are important about their teachers, they overwhelmingly say that they want their teachers to be fair. The key to this is consistency. We have a consistent approach and processes no matter which class they're in or which teacher they have. We also know that students entering this stage of adolescence, they will start to push the boundaries and we know that over the next few years they will make mistakes and bad choices. When they do, we have a fair, consistent approach and we address the behaviour rather than the child and we look at ways of moving forward with positivity. In middle school, we continue to place great importance on our four college values of respect, resilience, relationships and responsibility. These values are upheld by students, staff and the college community. We don't just put them up on the wall and hope that students remember to follow them. They are embedded in everything we do. They are values we expect our students to live by, not only while they're at school, but in everything they do. And if they can achieve this, they will have be successful beyond their schooling life. I'd like to finish this part of the presentation by again welcoming our Year 4 students and their families to middle school. I'm really looking forward to meeting and getting to know all of you. I hope the students are excited about the upcoming transition sessions. Hopefully they will give you a chance to get to know what middle school is all about and will show you some of the exciting opportunities that await you next year. Thank you. I will now pass to Mrs Christy Harvey, Middle School Assistant Principal of Curriculum. Thank you, Kim. My name is Christy Harvey and I'm the Middle School Assistant Principal of Curriculum at Hazel Glen College. I'm going to give you a brief overview of curriculum in the middle school. Teachers at Hazel Glen College establish a holistic approach to teaching and learning, drawing on the Victorian teaching and learning model and the framework for improving student outcomes. 
We are well versed in the latest research and developments in 21st century learning, curriculum and assessment and reporting and pedagogy, which is how we teach. Our teachers work in collaborative teams to plan curriculum that is engaging, challenging, purposeful and suited to the individual needs of our students. The middle school curriculum is structured to ensure a smooth transition from junior school into middle school and the introduction of a variety of new subjects and opportunities for the future. As with junior school, we run on a 10-day timetable that consists of week A and week B. Subjects that your child will study in year 5 can be seen on the screen. Students will have five periods per day that run for one hour. The number of sessions allocated to each subject per fortnight can be seen on the screen. Some exciting opportunities for your child will include the introduction of Italian, participating in food technology and completing science in a science lab. In junior school, teachers use Seesaw to share work and provide feedback on how your child is progressing in their learning. In middle school, Compass is our main tool for providing feedback to parents and students on learning achievements. Throughout the year, your child will complete key assessment tasks, or CATs, that they will be assessed on against the curriculum. The results of your child's achievements in these CATs will be available to view on Compass under learning tasks throughout the year. When your child has completed a CAT, the class teacher will notify parents and students so you can view the results and feedback. Further to this, you will receive interim reports, semester reports, and an opportunity to attend three-way conferences twice a year. Middle school recognises and caters to the individual needs of each student. We run a comprehensive transition program to ensure we have the best understanding of your child's skills, talents, abilities, learning needs, and interests before they begin the school year. We use data and results of formative assessment tasks to inform our planning, which allows for students to be catered for based on their individual and unique needs. Where necessary, we will modify curriculum, write individual learning plans, and provide opportunities for extension and acceleration. It is an expectation that all Year 5 students participate in home learning. The purpose of home learning is to create connections between school and home and to support the learning that is happening in the classroom. A critical part of the home learning expectations is independent reading. You can see from the infographic the difference that 20 minutes of reading can have on your child. Research states that students who read for 20 minutes per night are likely to score better than 90% of their peers. This data is powerful in demonstrating the importance reading has on our students and how supporting your child to read at home can have a significant impact on their success. Further to this, there will be weekly home learning set by the classroom teacher in English, Maths and Languages. In middle school, students are required to have their own iPad that they will use in a variety of ways to support their development of ICT skills and to enhance engagement in their learning. All students require an iPad that supports iOS 13 and is a 32 gigabyte model or more. Compass is the digital communication and management platform used by students, staff and parents. It allows students and parents to access timetables, communicate between teachers, parents and students, record attendance, consent and pay for events and excursions, access reports, receive ongoing feedback in regards to key assessment tasks if you are new to the college, further information will be provided to you on how to access the parent portal for Compass. I would now like to introduce Mr Gavin Fraser, who is the Head of Year 5 and Year 8 in Middle School. Thank you. And now to talk about some exciting dates we have coming up, and that is of course the Grade 5 transition moving to Middle School dates. The current Year 4 students are invited to come down to the Middle School for, an orienta for several orientation sessions. On Thursday the 12th of November, Ms Bamberg, Ms Donnelly and Ms Whiteside will visit the Grade 4 classes. On Friday the 13th of November, families will receive an information pack via Compass. On Tuesday the 17th of November, the first student transition session will take place. This will be followed on Wednesday the 18th with the second student transition sessions. Final student transition session will take place on Tuesday the 24th of November. Students will be able to purchase lunch on this day from the canteen. There will also be an optional coffee and chat for parents with Ms Bamberg from 4 to 4.30 via Webex. Hazel Wang College students wear the uniform with pride and care and students are expected to dress in the correct uniform. Unlike the junior school, 
middle school students have an additional sports uniform to wear, along with the middle school summer and winter uniforms. The sports uniform is worn for the entire day and there is no need for students to get changed. Grade 5 students do not wear a blazer, but rather have the HGC spray jacket. We ask that all families please clearly label their child's uniform in the event that it is lost or misplaced. Here are some of our Year 5 students that will talk to you about some of their great experiences about middle school this year. The part that I was probably most worried about in, when I was going into Year 5 was um, forgetting my locker code, but it's not that hard because you actually, it's only four numbers, so it kind of just, you kind of memorise it pretty quickly. And At first, I was worried about finding my classes, but my teachers and my peers were there to help me. One of my worries in Year 5 were um, not knowing where the classes were and running late, but I solved that by just following my classmates and then they were just showing me where the classes were. One thing that I was worried about joining middle school was that forgetting about the uniforms but obviously the teachers were there to help us and probably still the hardest thing is not to get confused with PEP and PE. Something about middle school that I was worried about is that it was going to be really strict and the teachers were going to be strict but actually it was just like junior school and it's even more fun. My favourite part about camp was going on a scavenger hunt in the dark. We got lost at first, but we found our way through. Our camp was getting a lot more different activities than you did in your four camp. And it, another good, really good funny part was watching and hearing all the teachers scream when they went on the giant swing. My favourite activity at camp had to be gold panning because we got to go for a big walk and get some gold. Some people found gold, but I didn't get some gold. My favourite part of camp is the giant swing because um, it gave me butterflies when I went all the way to the top. My favourite part about Year 5 was playing inter-school sports and having heaps of fun with my cricket mates. My favourite part about going into Year 5 was getting a different variety of subjects, for example, um, fruit tech and science. And in fruit tech the other day we actually got to make a fruit salad with muesli in a cup and that was really fun. and. My favourite um, part of Year 5 was the canteen because um, there was a more variety of food and my favourite was the blackcurrant fruit cup. The best part about Year 5 was having different teachers for every subject, meaning we can talk to more teachers if you have any problems. Um, something about Grade 5 I enjoyed, it's got a lot like more fun subjects and the camps for longer and you do more fun stuff. The favourite part of middle school for me is wearing comfy uniform for PE. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I like maths because of all the fun games and work we do. And I also like having lockers because it keeps all my space and I don't have everything on my um, table and I can decorate it the way I want. My favourite subject is science because we learnt a lot about the Mars rovers going onto Mars and all about how they work and we also got to design our own rovers and spaceships. So thanks to our wonderful current Year 5 students who've done a fantastic job talking about the middle school, some of the challenges that they've faced and some of the things that they've really enjoyed this year. I'm now going to hand over to our Year Level Leader for Year 5, Miss Lydia Foskett. Lydia is a kind, caring teacher who will be working very closely with your, student, with your children next year. Hi, I'm Lydia Foskett, the Year Level Leader for Year 5 2021. When junior school students transition to middle school, there are so many exciting new opportunities and experiences. During the first week of Term 1, each student is allocated a locker. Students each receive their own locker to keep their personal belongings safe and secure during the day and overnight. Students choose their own locker combinations and are asked to keep these confidential to ensure their belongings are kept safe Students should keep all of their personal property, such as books, bag, jacket, musical instruments, lunch in their locker. Students should avoid bringing valuables to school. And class teachers will always be there to help the students learn how to use their locker. And if there are any problems, we always have a key. Middle school students work on a two week timetable where students will get to know each week as either week A or week B. There are 60 minute sessions where students move from class to class and it is split over five sessions. 
Home group and class teachers will be there to help support all students in becoming familiar with how to read their timetable correctly. It doesn't take them long until they are all experts. Students have the option to pack a homemade lunch or buy from a fully stocked canteen. Unlike junior school, middle school students do not eat in the classroom. Instead, they take their snack for recess or lunch out into the yard. Students can still order online through Munch Monitor, bring money or bring their compass card as identification to then purchase through Munch Monitor. Students are required to go to the canteen to pick up their orders. Year 5 students have access to play across the middle school, on the basketball court, on the netball court and on the middle school oval. Year 5 students can also play on the shared 4-6 to six playground located near the junior school oval. The Year 5 camp for 2021 will be at Arabai Lodge in Warburton. The feedback we have always had from students and staff is that it's been an amazing camp. Students have the opportunity to develop relationships and try new experiences outside of the traditional school environment. Students have the opportunity to experience new activities and situations in a safe and secure environment and most of all have fun. Camp provides an excellent opportunity for students to develop self-independence while developing relationships with classmates and teachers. It can be physically and mentally challenging for some students, however our experienced staff will offer the support and encouragement they need along the way. There is a rewarding sense of achievement when they do something they never thought they could have done. We celebrate individual successes and achievements. It is an expectation at the college that all students do attend camp. There will be more information to come. And now I'll pass back to Mr Gavin Fraser to finish off our information night. The information pack that you can currently see on screen will be sent out to all families on November the 13th via Compass. So that's all from us. We hope you've enjoyed the presentation. Please feel free to jump on the college website which has an abundance of information about the Year 5 program. Stay safe. I hope to see you all soon. Good evening.